hey guys welcome back welcome back and a happy new year happy 2023 guys i am wishing you nothing but the best year ever and if it's your first time here welcome my name is kanitha i post twice a week tuesdays and fridays so today's video is this amazing hair mask that i have for you guys that will help to restore your damaged hair and dried ends all right so before we get into this video don't forget to like subscribe share and comment i would really appreciate that so let's get right into this video these are the ingredients that you will need for this hair mask you will need um beets you will need avocado you will need honey moringa powder and some oil of your choice you can get the beets from your local store um grocery store the moringa powder on amazon honey you know where to get these things but guys i'll tell you um later why i use beets on my hair and on the screen also you will see the benefits of each product for hair all right so um right now as you can see i am juicing my beets just to get the juice this is avocado these are what avocado use for you guys have seen me make mask with avocado and explain to you moringa powder um what it use for vitamin a and b omega-3 fatty acid pomos hair growth and honey you guys know honey also helps with moisture and um use as a humectant to you know draw moisture towards your hair and to lack moisture in your hair as well and as far as for the oil you just use any oil of your choice um i'm using kanithia oil i will put all the measurements on the description bar below so this is the juice the beets juice that i am adding just to make the to make the mask all right so i, I don't know if you saw guys but the end of my hair really dry especially during winter time I need to give my hair extra care, extra TLC, all right? So if you are suffer from damaged hair or your your ends or like giving you a hard time, so do this hair mask, all right? So when you're done with the hair mask, so this is how I use the hair mask. You can use it on dry hair before you apply it to your hair. Make sure that your hair is slightly wet, sprayed with water um, so, so the mask can be better applied to the hair. Alright, so right now I am mixing everything together. This little bowl was too small so I had to transfer it to another, to a bigger bowl. So right now, as you can see, my hair is extra dry, especially during the winter time. I have to give my hair extra love. I have to um, care for it more because it tends to be dry faster during winter than summer in any of the season. So right now, I um, I just sprayed my hair with some oil. You can add some conditioner, conditioner in that bottle and some water. Try to not use tap water. So. This is something that I have, I started, um, I adapt to my hair routine. When I'm done washing my hair, I use some filtered or, um, water to rinse out my hair. Especially if you, where you leave if the hair is, if the, if the water is really harsh on your hair. My ends were the main reason for this mask and that's why you will see me doing this wrapping method on my ends. I actually have a similar video on my channel with the same technique but with a different hair mask. If your ends are still dried and not repaired after doing this mask and this method, you probably need a trim because split ends can do that to your hair, can make it look like this as well. So now I just finished wash my hair. As you can see, the difference between before I wash, I applied the um, the mask and the method, and after my hair, my ends really repaired. I do need a little bit of trim on my ends, but not as much. Okay, so my hair was so soft, so easy to um, come through. That's why I love doing beads juice on my hair it's amazing so here's why i said i'm gonna tell you about a little bit about beets 
Not only that, beet roots have these amazing benefits for hair, but it can act as a hair dye. So be careful how you use it. It's not permanent. After a few washes, it will go away. It actually adds a nice color to the hair. To avoid that more intense dye on the hair, use it raw, just like I used it in, the, in this video. But if you're curious to see if it will add a dye to your hair, make sure that you boil the beads and use the water instead of um, the raw juice. I love this hair mask so much and I hope that you have found this video helpful and you can make this mask for your hair as well. Let me know in the comment section below if you ever used beads on your hair. So this is it guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. I would really appreciate that. Like I always say, have a joyful, a peaceful, a wonderful and a blessed day. I will see you on the next video. Bye now. I don't know about you